Good afternoon, students. So happy to meet you once again. In the past classes we studied the lesson three fiber to fabric, right? So the last class we have completed, right? So let's revise once again this lesson, okay? So fiber to fabric, okay? Fibers are the basic material that are used to make clothes, okay? Some fibers are obtained from plants. Uh, some are obtained from animals and some are made by humans. Okay, so here we studied wool fiber. Okay, uh, so wool is an animal fiber, right? Wool is an okay. Wool is an animal fiber. People living in cold places cover their bodies with an animal fur. Okay, later they realize that the fleece of many animals could be used to make wool to keep the body warm. Okay, so wool is present as a thick coat of hair on the body of certain animals. Okay, hair head gets trapped in the spaces between the hair and will not allow heat to escape. Okay, uh, so this is what we studied right about wool. Okay, then we studied about wool from sheep. Okay, sheep are reared to provide varieties of wool. Okay, yes, yeah, sheep's carry hair has two types, right? What are they? The coarse beard hair and soft under hair. What are they? The coarse beard hair and soft under hair. It is found close to the skin. Okay. The soft under hair is used to make wool. Uh, the wool the wool of different varieties of sheep differs in fineness, shine, length and strength. Okay. The wool of different varieties of sheep differs in fineness, <coughs> shine, length and strength the finest wool is obtained from the merino a breed of sheep originated from spain um, the wool is called merino wool okay the wool is called merino wool where is the it is very soft and light okay uh, then we studied about rearing of sheep right so rearing of sheep means in India, the sheep are reared in the hilly regions of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, uh, sheep are reared in hilly regions of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Okay. Next, we studied about wool from other animals. Uh, and also, uh, in around the world, the sheep are reared in countries uh, from Australia, Asia, and Middle East of the cold regions of the Northern Europe. Okay. Uh, Russia, Iceland, and South, Southern South of Southern South America. Okay. And we studied about uh, some Indian breeds of sheep, right? What are they? Lohi. Nalli, Bagarwal, Marwari and Patanwadi. Okay. Uh, so what are the products it is made from this breed? From uh, Lohi, uh, they used to prepare the carpets, right? That is good quality wood. From Nalli, also they produce the carpets. Okay. And Marwari also the same. Then Bagarwal, the, they used to product the uh, woolen shawls. Okay. And Patanwadi, they used to prepare the hosiery such as socks and stockings. Okay. Next, we studied about wool from other animals. Okay. Wool from other animals. Okay. So, here we studied. Uh, here we studied. Uh, uh, the, the wool is also obtained from animals of camel family. Uh, that is goat. Uh, goat. Uh, then we studied about rabbit. And also we studied about yak right uh, the uh, first one is camel right the camel which camel we studied the bacterian camel and also the alpaca and llama okay so the bacterian camels uh, found in siberia mongolia and china okay it gives the best quality okay next we studied the alpaca and llama okay the alpaca and llama belongs to the camel family uh, it is found in south america it is found in South America. Uh, the under uh, the, their undercoat hair is very soft and lustrous. 
okay so like that we studied about the camel okay next we studied about cashmere goat okay it is found in high plateaus of asia as well as uh, it is obtained the uh, what is the type of the wool pashmina wool what's the name of the wool pashmina wool the wool is called from the cashmere goat uh, they produce the pashmina wool okay combed once in a year from the bellies okay next we studied about angura goat okay uh, goat two types the cashmere goat and the angura goat okay the angura goat originally from the belongs to the angara region of turkey originally from the angara region of turkey it provides a fiber called mohair okay it provides a fiber called mohair uh, similar to wool uh, but has a smoother surface okay used to make soft sweaters and covering for furnitures okay next we studied about angura rabbit next we studied about angura rabbit uh, it is also angura uh, from angura region of turkey and it is known as angura wool the angura rabbit wool provide angura wool okay uh, then uh, it is uh, quite expensive used to, to make sweaters and clothes for infants okay next we studied yak wool okay it is not in the book it is found in the ladakh region and tibet okay it is mixed with the silk for easy spinning it is used to make sweater blankets and coats okay two colors we studied brown and gray remember brown and gray okay uh, ne uh, next we studied about wool production okay next we studied about wool production okay uh, here uh, uh, wool is a renewable resource and also sheep can grow new fleece and provides and provides us wool fiber for 5 to 6 years for 5 to 6 years okay wool is a protein fiber okay so we studied here we studied some process okay so remember or not what are they shearing scoring grading or shorting dyeing drying and making of yarn okay so what is mean by shearing the process of removal of the fleece from an animal is called shear okay what is shearing the process of removal of the fleece from an animal is called shearing. Here we saw the video also. So remember, everyone remember, right? So shearing means they used to shear the wool from the animal. That means they removed the wool from uh, fleece from an animal. Okay. Uh, for that, they used to use the dreamer. Okay. Uh, so it is uh, done in summer and springtime. Okay. So that the sheep gets its goat back by winter. Okay. Uh, and also we studied the sheep need to be protected from rain for a day before shearing. Okay. A shearer uses shears similar to the one used to buy a barber. Right. Uh, and also just like haircuts, your shearing does not hurt the sheep. The best wool comes from the shoulders and sides of the sheep. Okay, a skillful shearer takes just 5 minutes to shear a sheep. This is what we studied about the shearing. Okay, and the second process is scoring. Okay, scoring means what? The process of removing that dust and grease from the sheared hair is called scoring. Okay, what is mean by shearing? What is mean by shearing? Shear, uh, sorry, scoring. Scoring means, scoring means uh, the process of removing that dust and grease from the sheared hair is called scoring okay it is done with the help of the machines and the third process is grading of shorting here uh, you know that according to the length color texture and the ease it will be separate uh, they used to arrange that that is only grading of shorting and the next one is dyeing dyeing means you know that because the fleece is white, brown and black in colors. So they used to make it as many colors. So they will dip it in the dye. Okay. That is the process of dye. And the next one is drying. Drying you know that after dyeing it will be. The cloth will be wet. Okay. So it should be dry. So that 
they used to put it in the machine then uh, the wool is weighed, weighed and packed into the bales okay then the bales are transported to the mills uh, for the next process okay that is that is that uh, ma making of yarn okay so making of yarn means uh, so they have to complete the process shearing scoring grading or shorting dyeing and drying okay uh, after that Mm, then the next process is cording. Cording means cording machine combs the loose wool fibers into a sheet. Okay, the fibers are then rolled onto one another into fine strands. Okay, that is called sleevers. Uh, then the sleevers are gently twisted, uh, twisted, gently twisted into rope-like strands through a process called rowing okay again the spinning machine twist and retwist the fiber into yarn then the yarn are wound to form balls of wool okay after this uh, the wool is either woven into fabric or knitted into garments okay here weaving is done by criss crossing two sets of yarns but the knitting only needs only one set of yarn okay then here we studied about health hazards in the wool industry Okay, health hazards in the wool industry. Here we studied um, because the labors are working in the same place and they, they used to inhale the air because of the infection. The people used to get the anthrax or shortest disease. Okay, but nowadays the people used to take the works in uh, prevent from the disease. Okay, so okay, what's the name of the disease? Anthrax or shortest disease. Okay, next we studied about silk. Okay, so silk is an animal fiber made up of protein. Okay, so the rearing of silkworms for silk production is called sericulture. Okay, silk is the strongest natural fiber. Silk is the strongest natural fiber. Okay, uh, it is soft and lustrous. It is soft and lustrous. Uh, it needs to be dry cleaned or washed with Car. Okay, next we studied about life cycle of a silk moth. Everyone remember, I think. See, you know that the female uh, moth lays 300 to 400 eggs at a time. In two weeks, uh, live eggs catch into caterpillars. This is called the larval stage. This is called the larval stage. Uh, feeds on mulberry leaves for three to four weeks. Okay, uh, then... Uh, young ma a month old they stop eating right so uh, after that um, the caterpillar secretes fine filaments from two glands on its head um, it is made up of protein that hardens when exposed to air okay it deposits filaments in layers around its body uh, through figure of eight movements of the head okay forming a structure called cocoon it takes three to seven days to prepare the cocoon okay Again, it moves to the second stage that is called the pupal stage. Uh, then it moves to the third stage that is the final stage to become an adult moth. Okay. Then the moth cuts the cocoon and comes out of the cocoon. It lives for a few days. Then the process will be continue the same. Okay. Uh, that is the life cycle of a silk moth. Okay. Next we studied about sericulture. Next we studied about sericulture. Okay. What is sericulture? Rearing of silkworms for silk production is called sericulture. Okay. Rearing of silkworms from silk uh, production is called sericulture. Okay. Here what we studied in life cycle of a silk moth. The same it will be uh, the same process will be rotate. Okay. So healthiest, uh, healthiest moths are chosen for breeding and laying eggs. Then the eggs laid by the female moth are collected and stored on the stripes of the clothes or the paper okay then the eggs only catch uh, once in a year during spring okay when the mulberry leaves bear the fresh leaves okay then the larva are spread uh, spread on bam bamboo trees to grow it for chopped mulberry leaves for 20 to 35 days okay uh, that means uh, five times per day Okay, um, so after that, um, five times per day, uh, 
then the larval stops larva stops eating at the end of the growth stage then the caterpillars start to spin the uh, filaments okay uh, that is a cocoon okay uh, the caterpillar spins cocoons on twigs which takes about 3 to 7 days okay then the sericulture process will be start the first process is boiling the cocoons are collected and put it in hot water this kills the pupa and loosen the filaments okay so what's the name of the process this process is called boiling and the second process is reeling that means the filaments are unwind with the help of special machines uh, this delicate process is called reeling or filature reeling or filature okay then uh, it is up to 10 cocoons are wound together to make a strong thread okay so this process is called spinning this process is called spinning okay so the first process i said to you boiling then reeling and the next one is spinning okay uh, then the texture of the fabric depends on the manner of twisting. Okay. Uh, so the raw silk thread undergoes rolling, washing and twisting before being woven into a fabric. Okay. Then the threads are dyed and woven into silk fabric. Okay. That is the uh, process of sericulture. Okay. Next here we studied about uh, different varieties of silk. Right. So that is. Uh, the first variety of silk is Chasar or Kosa silk. Uh, it is drawn from cocoons grown on Arjun, Saja or salt trees. Okay. And the second variety is Muga silk. Uh, it is found in Brahmaputra valley. It used to feed the Soma and Shalu leaves. Soma and Shalu leaves. Okay. And the third one we studied Airy silk. Okay. Mm, it feeds mainly on castor leaves. The Airy silk feeds mainly on castor leaves and the fourth one is mulberry silk that you know that it used to feed the mulberry leaves okay and it is the best quality of silk okay uh, next we studied about that mm, see sometimes uh, the artificial silk uh, sold as a natural silk right so the difference between the artificial silk and uh, natural silk uh, so we used to find from that um, burning of artificial silk uh, smells like a burning paper and synthetic fibers smells and drop it leaves behind hard bead like substance okay so the natural silk smells like burning hair and leaves behind black powder okay so the, uh, this is what we studied about that right and next we studied about characteristics of silk okay so do you remember or not the first character it is a extremely elastic and second one it is the smoothest and finest of all fibers and third one it can be dyed easily okay and fourth one it is the strongest natural fiber so like that we studied four characters okay repeat it everyone first one is extremely elastic and second one is it is smoothest and finest of all fibers and third one it can be dyed easily and fourth one it is the strongest natural fiber okay and next here we studied about uh, the health hazards in the sericulture okay so here i think um, we th studied four uh, uh, four health hazards uh, the first one is uh, see the people used to dip their hands in the hot water uh, with the bare hands so that they used to get the uh, wounds uh, injuries uh, blisters in their hands right it leads to infection okay and the second one we studied the people used to stand a long time that means 12 to 16 hours so that they used to get the backache okay spine and vision related problems and third one we studied uh, the because of the, the boiling cookings uh, from the boiling cookings they used to get the fumes so the, it leads to the respiratory diseases what are they that is asthma and bronchitis asthma and bronchitis and the fourth one we studied because of the noise of the spinning and winding machines uh, the people used to get the hearing disorders okay 
it result to the hearing disorders like that we studied the fourth health hazards in sericulture form okay uh, so uh, so you you know that i think you know that uh, about the lesson fiber to fabric okay so already i sent the one more questions and two more questions uh, so students read this lesson and note down all the answers and two more questions you have to note down in the uh, booklet okay one mark you can mark it in your book okay so the detail answer the long answer questions we'll study in the class itself okay so the next lesson uh, we'll start in the next class okay students thank you